What's up guys, this is Hets Me and I'm coming to you with a brand new deck profile. I know it's not my usual day, but I decided to do it. I'm sorry for jump scaring you guys, I just couldn't resist. It is Halloween after all, so uh, we are doing a uh, vampire clown um, deck profile. So, <laughs> I mean, how like creepier or scarier can you get? It's vampires, clowns, whatever. So, uh, let's just get into it. So, uh... Starting things off with the vampire stuff, uh, three vampire sorcerer. This guy is your basic level four for the deck. Um, if you guys don't know what this does, if uh, if this card in your possession is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, by battle or card effect, you can add one dark vampire monster or one vampire spell trap card from your deck to your hand. This is your main searcher. It's um, the card you want to see a lot. Um, just get into the graveyard as much as possible just because you want to search uh you can also banish him so you can normal summon without tributing which is also very useful especially because you want to normal summon your big guys as much as possible uh, pyramid turtle uh this guy is the basic searcher for zombies he's probably the one of the best searchers for zombies and he's probably one of the better searchers in general that is available to us right now um Basically, when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one zombie monster with 2,000 less defense. Every single zombie monster in this deck has less than 2,000 defense, even though they're all, like, level 4, level 6, or whatever. So, zombie turtle is extremely useful, and that's why I maxed out on him. Uh, three, vampire duke. Uh, when he's normal summoned, you can target one dark vampire monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Uh, when he's special summoned, you can declare one card type, uh, and, then you, and then your opponent sends one card of that type from, from uh, their deck to the graveyard. Uh, however, you can only use your level 5 zombie, uh, vampire monsters for level 5, uh, rank 5 dark monsters. So that's why there's only, uh, rank 5 darks down here, which I'll go over later. Um, then vampire, sh uh, shadow vampire, uh, excuse me. When he's normal summoned, you can special summon one dark vampire monster from your hand or deck. It works very well with Duke. Um, however, that's the only monster that can attack for that turn, so just be aware of that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and he, can, he also has the same restriction as Vampire Duke does, so just be aware of that. Finally, we have Vampire Lord. Uh, this guy is your basic vampire. He's probably the oldest vampire card available. Uh, he's very, very old. Uh, when this card is in, inflicts battle damage to your opponent, uh, your opponent sends one card of that type from their deck to the graveyard, and during your next standby phase, uh, after this card in your position was destroyed, uh, by a card effect, Special summon this card from the graveyard. So he's a recurring card, so that's very useful. And then there's Vampire Vamp, which is probably the best vampire card in general. Uh, when a vampire monster is normal summoning your side of the field, um, including this one, uh, you can target one face-up uh, monster your opponent controls, whose attack is higher than this card. Um, this card gains attack equal to that uh, to that monster, and it, after it get, gets equipped to it, and um, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon it from the grave. Um... As long as it's by a card effect, not by battle, only by card effect. So, uh, and then for the cloud clown engine, we're playing three trick, uh, two trick clown, two damage juggler, and one hat tricker. Hat tricker is pretty useful just because you can just special summon him. But uh, I prefer to have trick clown just because he's recurring. So, um, and you have a good amount of monsters you need to tribute summon seven, I believe. So trick clown is a little bit more useful than hat tricker most of the time. So um, hat tricker, yeah. For the spells, I am playing 3 Vampire Kingdom. Um, this guy allows you to get over some big stuff with uh, because most of your uh, vampire monsters are only 2,000 attack. Uh, however, uh, once return, when a card is sent from the opponent's deck to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field, send one dark vampi vampire monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that target. So um, that works great with uh, Vampire You can just send them to the graveyard and then special summon sh uh, normal summon shadow. So... Um, and plus it pops stuff, so Vampire Empire, uh, or Vampire Kingdom, excuse me, is very useful. Um, two Book of Life, uh, this is just there just so you can recur stuff that you've lost, uh, such as Vampire Vamp, so uh, Book of Life is pretty useful. Two MST, two Terraforming to search up uh, Vampire Kingdom. Three, the Monarchs turn fourth. You don't really always need to go into your uh, extra deck. Uh, so Monarchs from fourth is pretty useful. One Foolish Burial, two Mind Crush, two Fiendish Chain. One Compulse, one Solemn, one Ring, and one Bottomless. For the extra deck, uh, one 101, one Ragna Zero, one Castell, one Digusto, one Cowboy, one uh, Dark Rebellion, one Abyss, one Diamond Dyer, one number 82 because you do play field spells. Um, and if you have, uh, actually, no, never mind, not being ashamed, but uh, it's only spell cards. Uh, one Performage, uh, Performage Trapeze Magician, 
uh, one Karen Gorgon, one Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. Uh, this guy's pretty useful. Um, uh, you can detach one Xyz material from the card and then target one monster your opponent's graveyard and then special summon that monster to your side of the field. Uh, but if you do, only that monster can attack. So if you your opponent has a big body in the graveyard, special summon to your side of the field and you can use it. Um, you can only use that effect once per turn. However, uh, after this guy is destroyed by a, a just destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and since the graveyard, you can special summon uh, this card from your graveyard and face up defense position. Defense position because then at that point you can just he can just become either a twenty five hundred body or tribute fodder for your um, vampire monsters. So it's pretty useful. Uh, one Adreus. Uh, this guy's useful. He gets the pop stuff, so that's always good. And then one shark fortress uh, allows cards to attack twice, so that's always good too. So um, yeah, that's it for this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, guys, have a great Halloween.